so something great in our adventure just happened. Our scooter broke down. So we rented this scooter earlier today for 500 NT and we thought that it was gonna get us all around, but uh, right now it's not starting up. And the best part is there's no kickstart. Hey, it's Tommy and we're in Taichung, Taiwan right now getting ready to go down to Kaohsiung, Taiwan to go explore a little bit more that they have down there. Uh, this is actually a four-day weekend for us because they have a holiday called Dragon Boat Festival. So that's what we're going to go check out this weekend is Kaohsiung and maybe if we could see some Dragon Boat Festival stuff. ran into a little bit of a discrepancy because we went to the train station right there and uh, they wanted to charge us a lot more money than it would have been for us to even just take the bus. And you can see just right there how far away it is from the bus station right behind us. So we're just gonna take the bus instead. We've made it down to Kaohsiung, so we are now walking through Kaohsiung because we got off the bus and went and checked out our Airbnb. So this weekend, we're gonna be doing as much as we possibly can, but truthfully, like we're not sure what's gonna actually happen yet. Um, I'm trying to figure out if we can rent a scooter too, because uh, I think a scooter would actually help make it seem like a lot better. So Kaohsiung's an awesome city for getting different types of foods, but Kaohsiung, you spoiled us last time, and now we want to get American food. <laughs> So we found this Mexican joint a while ago called Don Burrito. The absolute best is dripping so much. The absolute best tacos I've had in Taiwan so far. And after getting food, we're on our way back home already for the end of day one. So today is our first full day in Kaohsiung, and what we're going to do today is we're actually going to rent a scooter, turn off the phones as far as GPS goes, and we're going to get lost in Kaohsiung and see what it is. We've been here once before, it was about three months ago, because we were doing something for Kristen's birthday, but we didn't spend more than 24 hours in Kaohsiung. So this is my first real experience in Kaohsiung, but first, let's go get brunch. All right, so we just went out for our like little lunch thing and we got some kind of like American food. It was actually really good. We ended up talking to the guy for a little bit. It was a, a lot of foreigners in there and it's kind of cool because I see Kaohsiung has a lot more foreigner community I feel like here. Uh, but we ended up getting a meatball sub and that was really good. It was these like really beefy meatballs that I haven't gotten in a long time. And Kristen ended up getting like a sausage patty. They make the meatballs and sausages by hand, in-house. And I mean, we really enjoyed the food. So anyways, we're done eating now. We're going to go grab a scooter now. So let's do that. On the MRTs, the TR, the trains that they have in Kaohsiung, you still need to wear the masks as well. So everybody's required to wear the masks. Even when you walk into the thing, it tells you that you have to have them on. Otherwise, I think they, pen they penalize you and they give you a fine.
All right, so we ended up just running the scooter now, and we're gonna head out probably a little bit west, actually, towards the ocean, just to kind of get some cool views of the ocean and see what else is out that way. So let's do this now. So we just rented our scooter out um, at a little station that was across the street from Kaohsiung bus station. And it only cost me 500 NT on a holiday, which was kind of strange. 500 NT is about, yeah, it's for 24 hours. I think 500 NT is about, well, like 18 US dollars. So, I mean, it's kind of expensive, but it's really not too bad in comparison to the fact that the place that we tried to go to yesterday tried charging me 950. So we just got some coffee and we're actually out on this pier that's out in Kaohsiung. If you actually go across the ocean, whatever this little thing is right here, it's called Sijin. It's a like little uh, beach area. But today we have the scooter and we might as well go check some stuff out. So today I actually want to check out that building right there. I don't know if you can see it. If I'm pointing to the wrong one, you know why. But anyways, check out this pier. You can't hear me in the original audio, but it was just an exhibition center, so there wasn't really much to see. So a heads up, apparently rental scooters don't always have the best brake systems and I almost just crashed into somebody's like flower bed and destroyed Kristen's leg. Can't find the kickstart on it. So an unfortunate turn of events. We are not able to explore more of Taichung be or Kaohsiung because the scooter broke down as I spoke about before. Um, I ended up having to leave my scooter at this temple right over here and they're going to come pick it up tomorrow morning. We have an option of either getting like a new scooter tomorrow or um, paying or getting our $500 back that we got, which we're probably just gonna take that back because I don't know if I wanna trust the company again. But that's how that ended up today. That kind of sucks. <laughs> now that we're walking, up to the beach area. It's kind of cool. We're walking past these trees and there's actually like a weird American vibe to them. I've never seen them there. I don't, I don't want to call them wisping willows, but they kind of look like, I don't know, just a weird, cool Western looking tree.
All right, I didn't think that this was gonna be that big of a deal that our scooter broke down, but I'm like dying of sweat. It is so bad right now. <laughs> I really wish we had the scooter back. We keep walking down this road too, and one of the things that keeps happening is that like, okay, I feel like they don't see a lot of people down here that are like foreign, and everybody keeps yelling, hello, 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 and <laughs> it's really kind of cute. So I wanted to talk about something else that happened after our scooter broke down too. One of the things that I always see is that when we have situations that happen like that, because we've had a few situations, not necessarily our scooters breaking down, but we've always had people out in Taiwan kind of, I don't want to say come to our rescue, but really come to our rescue. As foreigners out here, it can be kind of intimidating. And I think that one of the things that I really appreciate about people in Taiwan is the fact that it is uh, very common that if something is to happen to a foreigner out here, they know what it's like. So they try to go out of their way to help us. And that is one of the coolest experiences that I've ever had is the fact that obviously it's kind of nerve wracking for me to have to try to call this company to try to figure out what to do with the scooter situation. But this guy just walked up to us and literally <laughs> call is like, hey, I will call for you. I will get the whole situation taken care of worried and talked to them about getting us a new scooter and now we're going back to the scooter place in just a little bit we're going to go try to rent another one for he said a whole nother day um and i just think it's really cool that taiwanese people are always so willing to help us even if like something happens like this so there's a guy named roger that helped us today i don't think you're going to see this roger but thank you i appreciate your help street of just like places that have shaved ice and it's really kind of neat. All right, so we're back at the apartment. Uh, we ended up going back down to the scooter rental place and got a new scooter because we want to get around tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to head out and go try to check out some more stuff since we had the scooter for a little bit longer tomorrow. Uh, hopefully this one doesn't break down. But anyways, we're going to go grab dinner right now. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm not going to say let's go. So we got a bit of food today. We got these buffalo chicken wings. We're hiding away from it. We get these like buffalo chicken wings. And they're like a battered, like boneless chicken breast with some uh, buffalo sauce in them. They're really good. Um, and we had tacos at this other Mexican restaurant yesterday called uh, Don Burrito, I think it is. And these tacos are as good. But they're still tacos, so I love them. As I said, we got the scooters again, and uh, we ended up coming out and just driving out late at night. It's about like, what time is it right now? It is 10.19 at night, you can't see it. But we ended up finding the Dragon Pagodas, and these things are really cool. There's the zigzag bridge that you have to go down to be able to get to the tiger and the dragon up there. But they're closed off right now, but you, it looks like you can actually go inside of them. So this is just another awesome thing that we found in Kaohsiung. So last night we ended up going down to the Tiger and Dragon Pagodas that were in Kaohsiung. But today we wanted to actually come check it out when there's daylight because obviously, like, you can see there's more to it and it's open now. So we're going to try to go inside. I'm watching this video right now just kind of in dread knowing the fact that it said right there on the sign that you should go this way and I went the other way. <laughs> we're going to go into the Tiger's Mouth. This is what I was talking about by the zigzag bridge too. 
have to go down it and then choose your path if you're going to go into Tiger or if you're going to go into the Dragon. I think one of the coolest things about these temples that they have in uh, Taiwan, just in general, is just how ornate they are. They're so beautiful. And you can tell that so much craftsmanship went into making these things because they're just so detailed in every aspect. And since we screwed up, we're gonna enter through this one so we can get our good luck back. So we just went back through so that way we could try to like turn our luck around, you know. And <laughs> the lady that was like guarding the entrance of the dragon just started cracking up as we like went back through because she originally told us not to go through. So it's it's just funny. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's for you. All right, so the next thing that we found was the Confucius Temple that was just a little bit down further from the pagodas. Um, we're gonna try to see if we can actually go inside of here because it's huge. So we found the inside of the Confucius Temple. Um, it wasn't really hard to get into, but this thing is really cool looking. I might try to see if we can get inside of this. The back side of it. This is actually kind of a neat park. We found this like little train car park. I don't know if they just park old train cars over here, um, but let's go like, let's go video inside one of them real quick. I don't know if I can get in, but it reminds me of the one video that we did in America. That's like a totally empty car. Everybody's flying kites out here too. It's like a beautiful day. So we spent the last three days in Kaohsiung and we've really kind of enjoyed ourselves. We had so many different situations happen that we weren't expecting. And what was really cool is the fact that we actually did get to get lost a little bit. Uh, the scooter breaking down was a little bit of a bad scenario because I wanted us to be able to explore a lot more and we kind of got tracked into this having to find our way back home uh, situation, but we got the second scooter. I was just too nervous to take it too far out just in case this one broke down too. So I appreciate you guys joining us on this journey this weekend and um, next week we're probably going to explore more of Taichung but out to the east. So it's been an awesome trip. I will see you guys next week. Thank you. Thank you.